I'm not going to lie, the title of this video is a little bit clickbaity. There is no one set of universal settings that will work for everybody's voice. However, there are basic principles and settings that we will be able to apply to today to get you really close to an optimized microphone chain with Go XLR without wasting a ton of your time. My name is John Horseman, and today I'm going to help you sound great with the Go XLR. Before we get started, my name is John Horseman. I also go by Kick Tripod and I help design technology for streamers, including the Go XLR. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit the bell if you want to get notifications every time I post a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do the fastest tutorial possible to help you set up your microphone chain with Go XLR without cutting any corners. Before we do everything, let's set everything to default. So make sure that all of your settings match this screenshot. When you first set up the Go XLR, you need to go into the mic setup page and you need to determine how much gain your microphone needs and what type of microphone it is. If you have a dynamic microphone, choose dynamic. If you have a condenser microphone or you're using a microphone with a cloud lifter or FET head or some uh, mic activator, you'll choose condenser. And if you're using a 3.5 millimeter microphone or using a USB microphone and running it through the headphone jack, you'll use 3.5 millimeter. When you set the gain, you want to be at the high end of low, low end of good. That's gonna make sure you have a low enough noise floor so that your PC fans aren't really annoying, but at the same time, it'll be loud enough that you can get a clear signal and we can uh, do everything that we need to do to make it sound great. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up your equalizer. And this is by far the most involved step. When I talk about the equalizer, I break it up into these various frequencies and I give them each labels. What we're going to do is we're going to go from left to right across the EQ. And I'm going to talk about each one very briefly and tell you kind of the best bass settings for each. The first one is 31.5 Hertz and your voice doesn't go down here, but a lot of like your air conditioning and rumble and PC fans do. So I recommend just cutting this all the way to negative nine. The 63 Hertz is the sub bass of your voice. So if you've got a really bassy voice and you want to accentuate that, you might boost it by one or two. If you don't have a bassy voice, or if you're running into a lot of plosives like P's and B's, and those are kind of harsh, you might go down to zero all the way down to negative two. If you're not sure, keep it at zero. But for me, I like a little bit of bass, so I put it at one. The 125 hertz is the bread and butter of the bass of your voice. If you've got a soprano or alto voice, this may be not this may not feel like your voice is necessarily doing a lot in this range, but it is. If you've got a tenor or a bass voice, this is where most of your bass is going to come in. When I put it at positive nine, it gets very subwoofy. If I take it all away, it gets very thin. I like to have a little bit more bass in my voice, and most people do too. They want to be a little bit more full. So we are going to put it at positive two. Now, 250 hertz is where the mud is. If I go all the way up to nine, it's really muddy. It's hard to hear me. If I go all the way to negative nine, it kind of, again, comes becomes empty and kind of cutting. I keep this one at zero or negative one. 500 hertz is my favorite frequency of the whole thing because this is your broadcast frequency. If I go all the way up to 500, it's very boxy, right? It sounds like I'm talking directly into a box. But if I go all the way down to negative nine, it actually sounds like I'm on an FM radio. This is a little bit too intense for most people. If you want a broadcasty voice, go to like negative three or negative two. If you want something more natural, stay at zero. I like a really broadcast voice, so I'm going to go to negative three. The 1K hertz is your nasal part of your voice. So if I go up to positive nine on the 1k i'm very nasally right if i take it all the way away i get very muddy and i lose a lot of definition in my voice for me i keep the 1k at zero or negative one you're usually going to want to cut those nasal frequencies a little bit unless you really like the nasal part of your voice the 2k hertz frequency is what kind of like the low end of your highs it's also where your shushes are so if i go all the way up here and talk shush 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 I get very walkie-talkie sounding, right? And if I take it all away, again, I lose all the definition of my voice. 
I like to boost this a little bit, but I'm going to talk about the 2K frequency in pair with the 4K frequency. The 4K frequency is where the rest of your S's live. So if I go all the way up here, suh, 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 that gets kind of annoying, right? But if I take it all the way away, I lose, again, so much definition in my voice. So here's an awesome trick. Notice how I boosted my bass over here by one for the 63 hertz and two for the 125 hertz. I'm going to basically match that here. So I've got a total of three decibels of gain over here. I'm gonna kind of match that however I feel is best. And in this case, I'm going to add one to the 2K hertz and two to the 4K hertz. If I boosted this, let's say I boosted my bass up to like plus, plus four, plus four, I would basically do the same thing over here. They're almost like a balancing act. This is kind of like a seesaw. But in this case, we're gonna do one and two and one and two. Nice and balanced. Think of this as two mountains and a valley. In actual audio terms, there's an inappropriate term for this, but we're gonna call it two mountains and the valley. You'll also notice right now that your S's and uh, shushes might feel a little bit harsh. We're gonna go to the de in a moment and set that up correctly. So don't worry if your S's feel harsh right now. All right, and almost lastly, we're gonna go to the 8K Hertz frequency. The 8K Hertz frequency is the airiness of your voice. If I go all the way up here, you'll notice that it adds a ton of kind of clarity to my voice, but my S's and SH's get really harsh. If I take it all the way away, it doesn't sound very good at all. I usually like to bring it up to about three. This is gonna make it sound nice and easy. Again, my S's are a little bit harsh, but we're gonna address that in the next part, which is the de -esser. So what I recommend doing with the de -esser is just to hold a long S and raise this up all the way up to 100 and back down. So if I go all the way up to 100, it sounds, um, it, it's, it doesn't, I don't, I lose all the definition of my S's, right? Whereas if I stay at zero, it's a little bit too harsh. On average, between my 2K, 4K, and 8K hertz, I have an average of two decibel boost here, right? One, two, three. So that's going to average out to being two. So I recommend being at about 10 to 15 points per average. So in this case, if it was two, I would set my de -er to 20. If you have your S's even higher than that, you might go uh, up to 30. If you find yourself going 50 and above, chances are you did the EQ a little bit too harsh on your highs. I kind of like to keep it as neutral as possible for this, so keep it at about 20. Next up, we're gonna do the compressor, and the compressor is super fast and super easy. If you want a more broadcast style voice and you want something relatively neutral, set this guy to negative 17, keep it at four to one, 10 millisecond attack, 100 millisecond release, and we'll talk about the makeup gain in, the, in a second. If you scream a lot, if you're you know one of those shouters and screamers, change your ratio to 5.6 to one or 16 to one, or not 16, sorry, 18 to one, not 16, that's gonna be too high. Usually though, if you want something that's both good for a broadcast style voice, but is still gonna keep you sounding natural, four to one is great. If you want a really natural sounding vocal, go down to 2.5 to one. I'm gonna keep mine at four to one. Now we're gonna talk about the makeup gain. What you wanna do with the makeup gain on the compressor is you wanna make sure that you're getting enough volume to OBS. The ideal volume in OBS is to be around negative 10 to negative five dB, or in other words, between kind of right where the yellow and the red line meet. You'll notice right now I'm significantly below that. I'm at about negative 15 at my highest. So I'm gonna have to add about five to six dBs to get up into that range where now you can see I'm peaking up very, very little bit into the red. If you're having to do a lot more than like eight decibels, your initial gain is a little bit too low and you need to bump that up a little bit. So now your voice should be nice and loud in your headphones and you may notice that, you know what, I didn't quite do enough for my de or um, my bass sounds a little bit weird. For me, I noticed that my S's are a little harsh, so I added an extra five on my de -esser. 
The last thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the gate. And you want your attenuation at 100%, attack at 10 milliseconds. And let's keep the release at 200 milliseconds for right now. You're going to start with a threshold slider at off, and you're going to slowly raise it until you notice your background noise goes away. So let's go ahead and try that. Mine goes away almost immediately at about negative 55 decibels. I have a low noise floor and um, I've worked pretty hard to treat this room. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type and click on my mouse and see if I can get it to open up the gate threshold. A little bit. So because I noticed that it's a little bit, I'm going to raise it a couple more dBs to give it a little bit more space. If you've set up your gate threshold and it's below negative 40 decibels, You've d you probably aren't going to run into your gate threshold bumping into your voice and making it sound like your voice is coming in and out. At the same time, if you are noticing clicks and a lot of sounds coming through, your gate threshold may be set too low. If I have my voice, so I'm going to set my gate threshold to negative 37, and you can hear it actually cutting out my voice. You don't want your gate threshold this high. We're going to bring it back down. I'm going to keep it at negative 50. Uh, let's keep it at negative 51. And that's it. At this point, your microphone should sound quite good. As I said before, everybody's voice is different. So applying blanket settings like this is a double edged sword. And if you want to know everything about it, I've got a 35 minute video that walks through every one of these steps and how to optimize it for your voice. However, this video is meant to help you get your microphone chain up and running quickly so you can just start making content. It's going to sound good. It's not going to sound super offensive or turn anybody off to listening to your content. It's just not optimized. You can also join my Discord and we have a sound check me channel where you can post a screenshot of your microphone settings and recording of your voice and I'll give you feedback on it and recommend changes that I would do if you wanna do that as well. The link to my Discord is down below. If you like the video, please do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell to get a notification whenever a new video goes live. We just crossed 500 subscribers on the channel, which is really amazing. I haven't made very many videos, and the fact that you're here and subscribing means a ton to me. Thank you for doing that, and I can't believe we're over halfway to 1,000. Finally, you can find me at all of my social media links at Kick Tripod, and there's links down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon for another video.